everybody? Welcome to the Comic Game Movie Show. My name is Deshaun. Today, I'm here to talk about the big, you know, weekend. Last weekend was the weekend of Godzilla vs. Kong. And I did my spoiler-free review of that. I talked about it. I gave my opinion on it. I ended up giving that movie a 6. But I gotta tell you, the last, few, the last, about, the last, like, 20 minutes of that movie were friggin' awesome. <laughs> I just didn't think, no, think the last 20 minutes of the movie was worth it. Personal. Okay, no, you know what? No, 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 no. I take that back. It is worth it. I just, I cannot ignore <laughs> the, I, me and Seth, we were watching this movie, and I kind of tallied it up in my head because I knew how long the movie was. It's at least a good hour of just dumb, nonsensical exposition slash explanations that don't make a lick of fucking sense, but I digress. I already talked about that. I'm here to talk about the aftermath of this movie. First of all, who won the fight? Godzilla won the fight. Like, decisively. I gotta tell you, I did not see that coming. I thought it was gonna be one of those fights, because I will say, I did spoil it for myself. I had heard, because I had seen tweets and review tweets and like spoiler-free reviews, no one said how, but I did hear a lot of people go, no, there is an actual winner to this fight, and um, and that's unusual for these kind of movies. And I was like, and I saw that, and I was like, okay, because like you really don't like Alien vs Predator is a no definitive winner there, not really. Um, even Freddy vs Jason, like you could say, I think that Jason won in Freddy vs Jason, which maybe might be a horror classic that I'll review because that movie to me kind of stands out as like just this memorable like time capsule kind of a movie. So something that happened that like you know thinking back it was crazy, but I digress. Um, that was another versus thing. Um, no one really won in BVS. In a way, you could say that Captain America won in Captain America and um, Civil War because he did uh, you know win the the one-on-one -on -one battle with Iron Man. At the end of the day, well, it was two-on-one, -on but he did win that battle. He did win. He beat Iron Man. Um, but, you know, so, but this is definitive as it gets. I'm talking Godzilla whooped. I mean, whooped. I mean, good Lord and mercy, whooped King Kongs. No, sorry. He ain't King Kong. He's just Kong now. Lowercase k, not capital, because Godzilla whooped his ass so bad, he wanted to go back to Skull Island. He whooped this man. He started scratching his chest, and that fucking Kong started going, ah, ah. Oh, my God. I was like, it was, me like, I was like sitting next to stuff like, wow, he's getting his ass whooped this bad. And it was crazy. It was almost like, now I know some people might disagree with this comment, it was almost like Godzilla was like, well not like, was like, what's the word I'm looking for? It was like testing him? It was like he wasn't taking him seriously? Or like that seriously? Because that last second, those last couple minutes, of that last minute of that fight, where Godzilla, like a switch just went off. It was crazy. Go back and watch that movie. If you got HBO Max or you want to go through to see it again, I know some people have seen it multiple times. It was like a switch just went, and he just went, all right, fuck this. I'm done playing games with you. He didn't try to, you know, shoot him with his breath. He, I don't even think he tried to use his tail. He just went, bam. He just started putting the paws on him, quite literally. He just started putting the claws on him, man. He just started fucking him up. Dislocated his shoulder. He fucked Kong up so bad he went into cardiac arrest. I was like, damn. <laughs> and it yelled in his face like, what? <laughs> it was literally, it was like you started a fight with your big brother. It's like you're like fucking 13. Your big brother's like 17, almost 18. You start a fight with him and he's just playing with you. And then you punch him in the nuts. And for that split second, he just loses his shit and whoops the fuck out of you. And he's like, oh shit, my bad, didn't mean to do that. But for that split second, you realized that there are levels to this shit and you ain't on his level. As much as he's your brother, as much as, you know, you guys are technically on the same. No, 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 no. If he wanted to, he could kick the shit out of you. And in that moment, think about it. Godzilla had a weapon. I mean, King Kong had a weapon, which means that Kong couldn't beat him even when he had a weapon. He couldn't beat him even with a weapon. 
and that you know, a weapon that seemingly seemed, at least the combo the way the movie explained it, was designed to fight creatures like Godzilla. This weapon was designed for to fight people like Godzilla, and he still couldn't beat him. It was crazy. It was crazy. It was crazy. But as you guessed, probably with my vague notions, the special hidden villain of the entire movie that they would have to team up to fight was none other than Mecha Godzilla. Now, I had, when I had first seen at the end of, um, Skull Island. Oh, no, maybe not Skull Island. At the end of, um, yeah, at the end of Skull Island, when they started to, like, hint to, like, when they started to, like, first start hinting to, um, that Godzilla and, um, King Kong exist in the same world and that we will get Kong versus Godzilla. When they first started to hint to that, like, when I, when they, when, when they, initially, I thought that the villain they would have to fight would be King Ghidorah. I mean, I always say his name wrong. I, I don't know why. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm saying it wrong, but King, you know, the three-headed, you know, golden dragon King Ghidorah. Um... Like, I always thought that he was gonna, that was gonna be the villain that they had to team up and fight. But then when he had to fight him in King of the Monsters, I was like, oh, okay, so I wonder who the villain they're gonna have to fight is. And you know, I should have guessed Mecha Godzilla, but the concept just sounded like Mecha Godzilla as a concept just sounds so stupid. Because it's just like, why would you design a creature that looks exactly like, why would you design a, 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 a mech, a, 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 like a, 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 an organism designed to kill kaiju? Why would you, you know, kill Godzilla specifically? Why would you design it that way? Like, the only reason you would design it that way, there's the only, there's no actual logical reason to design it that way. So, in my mind, I never even considered it. But they did it, and it was, um, it was over the top. It was kind of stupid. Like, I'm not sure about the whole King Ghidorah's heads. Like, they somehow get, like, information from the skull and download the information from... I don't fucking know. None of that shit makes a look of sense. There's someone who operates it, who has to be operating it to make it do stuff. But, like, that goes awry. And, like, and apparently in this world, I... Uh, you can, they don't actually, because the whole fucking thing with this shady ass company, Apex, is that they're trying, is that they created this mechanized Godzilla to kill Godzilla so that they can become, you know, that we, so that the human race can be the superiors, you know, some fucking Lex Luthor bullshit. But the whole idea is they don't have a stable enough power source to power this thing. Because of the way it's designed, you know, maybe because, you know, the whole using the door, um, King of the Doris brains, brain waves or some shit, skull waves, whatever. And the whole idea behind it is that they need that power source. They need a power source, the same kind of power source that created, created the kaiju, created the monsters. And they find it in the, you know, hollow earth, whatever, you know, the other earth inside of the earth. So they, they find it down there, and when they go down there, and when, when they go down there with God, with King Kong, they they cut out, like, they don't actually need, like, I thought the whole point was they needed an actual, they needed actual raw material from that place. But no, all they needed to do was scan raw material from that place, and they could just recreate the energy from what they, that doesn't, I, mean, I was like, that doesn't make any fucking sense. How is, no! And then, like, the whole, we don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, I'll shove it in there anyways. Like, <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? I didn't want to say this, like, because I didn't, all right. Millie Bobby Brown and her Scooby gang, like, going, um, fucking Tyler Henry, fucking kid from Deadpool, going on their whole little fucking journey. They snuck into a multi-billion dollar company's hidden lair by just walking. Like, there weren't no camera. She just went, hey, what's that over there? And just bing down. And at first, I was like, this would make sense if this place is so badly damaged. It's abandoned, basically, after the attack. They're like, you know, like, they haven't had time to get down there and scrub that area, but they don't think anyone's going to go out there. But no, the fucking place is still fully operational down there, which means this is the worst billion. These three dumbasses were just not even sneaking well, just walking around. And like, dude, every time it cut to them, me and Seth, I I'm not gonna lie to you. I, um, I, Seth's gonna comment on this. 
there was a certain part of this movie that made me go go into rage mode. Go into like, um, I, I told you the guys the story about how in Wonder Woman, the first Wonder Woman, when the whole Ares scene popped up, how Seth was like, get the fuck out of here. Well, the whole scene where they're talking about Ares killed all the Greek gods. Seth's like, get the fuck out of here. Because Ares can't do some shit. Ares ain't got the fucking weight to do that. In any version of, in anything. DC, Marvel, fucking mythology. He ain't got the weight to pull some shit like that. But I digress. I had that moment in watching this movie. I had a moment just like Seth did. When fucking Deadpool boy, I don't even know his name off the top of my head, had this like, when they were like, oh my, when they first see the Mecha Godzilla, and like, he had, they had this moment where they were like, what is, it's like some technology, it's like some kind of technologically created Godzilla, it's like some techno Godzilla, and he was like, no, it's Mecha Godzilla. I was like, Like, really? Really? Dude, they even have the word Mecca. Like, when you get to the office and you see all the screens of what they see, what the um, big people, what the, you know, the head guy sees, it has the word Mecca on the screen, which means this thing is actually called Mecha Godzilla in this stupid ass world with these stupid ass people that I fucking hate. <laughs> You see why I was conflicted about this movie? You see why I was conflicted about this movie? All the awesomeness of their fight all, can't fucking rub clean the just the, the idiotic stupidity of the other stuff in the fucking movie. That I'm just like, what? Ow! There's a big ass asterisk on this whole movie. They say up top, up top. That if we drop, they put a dome around Kong because apparently the storm around Skull Island like came and fucked people up. Which, like, that's just like, everything they do is just a hand wave. They don't really even mention the other kaiju who fucking, who were just in the last movie. They, it's a hand wave thing. It's just like, oh, they're defeated. That's it. It's like, but last time we saw them, they bowed to Godzilla and went their own fucking separate ways. Worst case scenario, we should have at least seen a cameo by them in the Hollowed Earth stuff, because theoretically, that's where they went. But why would they challenge Godzilla for, like, they bowed to him. If they were gonna challenge him, they would've did it there. So that didn't even make a lick of sense, and it's just hand-waved away where Rodan, they don't ever mention Mothra's eggs. Like, it's not even a snapshot of Mothra's eggs. They don't bring it up at all. We don't know what the fuck's going on with that. Like, there's, like, so much, so many things that are just left, like, eh, whatever. Dude. You know, more thing about this movie, more I dislike it. But, like I said, the action is actually really good. That action bits are really good. But, man, this movie frustrates me with some of the more stuff that don't make a lick of sense. But what I was saying up top was, they mentioned that if we, they build the dome around God King Kong, or just Kong, and they built it to protect him from Godzilla because if Godzilla realized that Kong is here, he would come to fight him. What you're basically saying is, if they would have just took the dome down, we would have got the movie 30 minutes. We would have got 30 minutes of the movie and we could have all went home. That is ba like literally, from that point, when you first see Kong, the rest of the movie is them trying to delay what you all, what we all came to see. The first 30 minutes of the movie is bullshit. Like, for that, it's nothing, nothing really happens. In that brief moment where Godzilla shows up and fucks up a city, you know, when you hear that amazing score playing, and then it's just nothing. It's just Kong playing with his balls and playing with this little girl. Uh, not literally, but metaphorically. It's just uh, talking to this little girl, and, and like, well, why I found the little girl and her mom interesting, it's it's the trope. You've seen it, you've seen it once, you've seen it before. The little girl could understand the creature, and for some fucking reason, he can do sign language, which don't make any fucking sense at all, because that little girl is like eight. So I don't like, so the idea is she taught him sign language. But I'm like, I'm sorry. It takes normal people years to figure fucking sign language out. You want me, take normal people's, uh, normal thinking human beings years to figure sign language out. You want me to uh, think that this big ass gorilla figured that shit out and would, would have to only be four years because she ain't old enough to teach anything to no one except now. 
So like, I'm just like, that don't make a lick of sense at all. And like, and like, Sam tried to explain it to me. Well, he only saying simple words. I'm like, no, that ain't what she's saying. She's saying he's been telling, she's been telling, he's been telling her some complicated shit about his feelings. Which I'm just like, what? <laughs> ah, man, I tell you, this movie didn't get me worked up though. It's I was worth the price of submission. I tell you, some of the dialogue in this movie, some of the dialogue and stuff in this movie, man. Ah, boy. But, 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 I will admit, I will admit, not only was the fights cool when they actually went down with Godzilla, not only was that fight with um, Mechagodzilla awesome too, but I did find that um the world within the world, the Hollow Earth thing, very fascinating and very cool. I really did. I enjoyed that. Those things in that don't make it look sense either, but I still enjoyed that. See, I was willing to let that slide. I questioned it, but there are aspects down there that I was like, that don't make sense. But I'm willing to let that slide because I'm enjoying what I'm seeing. But there was just long scratches of this movie where you're just with the people and they suck. <laughs> and they suck so bad. And I was just like, man, I can't ignore how bad they suck because they're setting up the narrative. So I was like, if they suck, then the whole thing kind of, they dragging the whole damn thing down. But there's no way to do these movies without the people. So I don't, so all they have to do is like, but there's no way to do these movies. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. This is just a weird franchise. Though, I, it is the closest franchise to the MCU. I mean, if you want to be real, this is the only actual full functioning big time cinematic universe other than the MCU. So they they got that going for them. They they they're, they're it. It's it's the MCU and then it's God, the the monsterverse. Cause every other universe is just fucking chaos. It's just all over the fucking place. But I give them that. They've kept it together. Though we don't know when we will be getting another movie because the license I believe with Toho is up after this movie. That's why I haven't gotten an announcement for anything else. They were waiting to see the results of this, which might be kind of muddy now since COVID. Because I'm pretty sure they're probably waiting for the before they come out to see box office results. They go back to the negotiating table. Um, now the movie's doing great in theaters, by the way. Well, you know, relatively great con considering it's doing better than any other movie. All since you know since COVID started, I mean, it made like two hundred something million dollars, almost like almost three hundred million dollars this weekend. Um, it made almost three hundred million dollars this weekend. It made forty eight million dollars in America this weekend. Um, forty eight million dollars a lot actually. Actually, it's pretty impressive because the last movie made about forty something million dollars. Made about forty something eight million dollars, which means this movie is did exactly as well as that movie. Which basically means this movie would have done ridiculous gangbusters if it had um you know if it had come out. If COVID was over, if COVID was completely over and everyone was, you know, not afraid to go to, you know, theaters. Plus, half the theaters, like, you know, have that, you know, are, like, shut down. Now, no, they're, they're opening up, but they're at half capacity. Like, when me and Seth went to go see this movie, it, it was like, you know, it was like every other every other row was empty. Every other seat was cut off. So, you know, like, it's just like, it's barely, you know, you can't really get too, too much money out of that. So, but, but, overall... I still had genuine, like, I walked away feeling good. Because the last 20 minutes, there was so much going on, there was so much awesomeness and so much fun in those fights and over-the-topness, that I walked away feeling good. But it ain't start that way. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you for joining me at Comic Game Movie Show. Please remember, like, subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed my spoiler review of Kong, Kong Godzilla vs. Kong, lowercase Kong, because Godzilla... Fucking snatch Kong's chain. Godzilla went snatch. It was Debo on um, the actor who played Debo, um, Tiny. He died like a couple months ago. I felt like I was watching Friday because Godzilla just showed up and just snatched his fucking chain and just said, "What, bitch?" And Kong was like, "Nope, can't. You ain't King Kong. He can't be called King Kong. You cannot call him King Kong after that ass whooping. It just don't fit." You know, that's like that's like calling me the one that's like calling me the one shot kid after I missed a bunch of fucking shots. It don't work after that, man. I don't care how good I shoot after that. I just missed a bunch of shots. I can't be called the one shot kid anymore. Anyways, thank you guys for the Comic Game Movie Show. Please be like to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.